Hello, I'm back in the workshop and you've caught me looking at this piece of pallet wood. It's not the best piece of wood in the world. It's got twists in it and it's not very flat and it's obviously just sawn rather than plain. But it'll make a perfect piece of wood, I think, for a garden project. So let's get tinkering. The wood is a bit thick at three quarters of an inch. So I start by resawing this into thinner lumber. This is a rustic project, so I'm not too worried about if it's a little inconsistent. This is my second attempt at resawing pallet wood. My first attempt was using the resaw bar that came with the saw, but the blade drifted quite a bit. I suspect this has more to do with my technique than the saw, so I started again freehanding it, and this worked very well. I start by tidying up and squaring the end. My saw doesn't seem to be collecting dust as well as it used to. Something has clearly changed. I think the saw and the filter just need a good clean out. Then with the split board sandwiched together, I cut the sides of my project. With the blade angled to 45 degrees and a stop on the sliding table, I add a bevel to one end of each side. Then using my inclinometer as a stop, I cut the three boards to the same length. This will form shelves. I'm going to fit the shelves using half lap joints. I'm using a table saw for this which means I have to remove the riving knife and blade guard. I use the shelf piece and a shim, which is the thickness of the blade curve, to get the correct width I need to make the half lap joint and make a couple of cuts. I then hog out the material in between these cuts and then repeat for the final shelf. The wood's not completely even, so I have to just even it out for the joints using the chisel, taking a tiny amount off. Not only is the wood not even thickness, it is also a little warped, so requires a little persuasion. I'm adding a groove down the back edge of the sides. This will be used to accommodate a backboard, just like you would if you were making a draw base. I use the same trick I used to get the rebates the correct size for the shelves to get this long half lap joint the right size for the back piece. This was resawn from a piece of pallet wood. Notice the shim on the fence. Without this, the cut would be exactly one blade curve too wide. I do this to both sides. The back is thin enough that the rebate doesn't need hogging out. I now need to make a top for my garden ornament. This will consist of two pieces, one slightly longer than the other. And I use the first piece as a spacer against a stop block to achieve this. My ornament will have a pitched roof so I cut out the shape on the bandsaw. I'm finally ready to assemble the pieces, but I have a few more surprises, so continue watching to the end or you'll miss what I think really makes this project great. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I cut up some old garden canes, for what I'm sure you will have guessed is a bug hotel. I was really surprised just how many canes were needed. I used six five foot canes. Ideally you want to use different sizes to accommodate different species of bugs. With the canes cut, I can now glue on the roof. This protrudes out the front to provide a little protection, but the bug hotel should be positioned in a sheltered area as well. Once dry, I add the canes, but then decide this is a bit too ordinary. I feel it needs some changes to make people go, oh wow, where did you get that? So I add some shingles to the roof. These unnecessary additions certainly help finesse the bug hotel, but it's still not looking great. Let's add some colour. I found this paint in the shed. It's a bit lumpy, but with a vigorous stir comes back to life. Pallet wood, I assume, is already treated, so this is purely for cosmetic reasons. I'm not convinced brown paint on its own is giving it that wow factor. So time for a little more creativity. Using a piece of resawn pallet wood Left over from the board I used to make the back, I cut out a flower using the bandsaw. Now this should add a splash of colour to the hotel. Now you know as well as me that I shouldn't be using my wife's acrylic art paints to paint this. So let's just keep it our little secret. Well, I really enjoyed tinkering in my workshop, making this bug hotel. When I started out, I hadn't expected to put shingles on the roof or to put a flower on the front, but I think it really adds to the overall finish. It is quite rustic, and that in itself provided 
a number of challenges for me. The wood isn't particularly even, the thickness is changed in places, it's rough cut, but overall I'm pleased with the results I got. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.